All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kapodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shout out one to the whole flag, the believers, the listeners, who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about you, my shot? And what I want to get into this morning is pretty much as we see, you know, the behavior, you know, there's amongst <laughs> even Israel, the behavior that's amongst our people. <clears throat> and pretty much just like the flood, you know, people are wilding out. You know, when you see the behavior of people in the earth, people are begging, all right, for the judgment and the indignation of Yahweh by Shema you know? And what I was thinking about pretty much, we have to cherish obedience, man. You know, we have to cherish, all right, the obedience, the spirit of obedience that Yahweh by Shema has put on the believers, all right, in these last days, you know, for us, you know, to be humble, you know, for us, you know, to have a mindset to do right towards one another, you know, to have a mindset of edification and looking past this place and, and just, you know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah grooming us for something great. All right? Because as we see, you know, even amongst Israel, all right, our people, all right, is wilding out, man, you know, right before judgment. And we know what's the end, what's gonna be the end result of that, man. All right. So that when you read, <clears throat> oh, so like when you read Baruch two and thirty, you know it goes in two. All right, obedience, a disobedience, and then it also goes into how the Lord will put an obedient spirit upon us. All right. So when you read Baruch two and thirty, it says, "For I knew." For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So there was a period, you know, that we would be disobedient and that would lead us to go into captivity. But within that captivity, their remnant, all right, will remember themselves, man. You know? And also, you 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 will even have those, all right, that, that <laughs> you know, that are destined for destruction. You know, they will remember themselves, all right? But with the remnant, you know, he will put a different spirit on the remnant. Verse 31, and it says, and shall know, verse 31, and shall know that I'm the Lord, their power, and this is the, 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 the remnant, the elect, the sincere. For I will give them a heart, which is a mind, and ears to hear, you see? So the Most High had to give us a spirit to be obedient. And it's something we have to cherish in this time of, of, of all out rebellion. You see, Esau Edom is leading the biggest all out rebellion against your how about Shema al Shah in the earth. And you have Israelites, all right, that's attached to that, man, and leading other Israelites in that same manner. You know? But we're, we're witnessing the biggest rebellion against our power, all right? That the earth has ever seen, and Jake is all in. You have, you know, Israelites that's all in. Now, real quick, because I just want to prove their point. When you go to, uh, let me get the blue level. dealing with ancient Babylon when you go to Jeremiah 15 and 21 all right the Jeremiah 15 and 21 it says go against the land of, of Maratham even against it and against the inhabitants of Pekai waste and utterly destroyed all right after them said the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shah and do according to all that I have commanded thee you see and do all all right, according to I have commanded thee, because Yahweh Shema Shah is finna command judgment in the earth, man. 
All right, and we're finna see these spirits of vengeance get busy in the earth, man. Because even famine is a spirit of vengeance from me. How about Shema Aushai? That's a judgment from on high. All right? But I want to focus on these two words in the Hebrew. Hold on. So, hmm. I want to focus on these two words. All right? In the Hebrew. Because remember, this is the biggest, all right, outright rebellion against your how by Shema Aushai the earth has ever seen, you know, led by Esau Edom. You know, and the, and the main influence comes from where? America, man. All right? The daughter of Babylon. All right, now when you go into the word, Go into that word marathon, which in the Hebrew is all right, marathayom, marathayom. And what does it say? It says double rebellion, a double rebellion. You see, society is in the spirit of double rebellion, but the spirit that the Lord put on the elect is to be obedient in these times, man. <laughs> you see. Double rebellion, man. Mariah Thumb. All right? And Jake is in the mix of that, man. You see Jake wilding out, man. Now, let's get this word Pakad. All right? Let's get this word Pakad in the Hebrew. All right? Which is Pakwawad. Pakwawad. And it means visitation. So, we know there's going to be a visitation, all right, on this double rebellion that's, that's in the earth, man. You know? How about Shema Oshai is about to visit this rebellion that's in the earth, man. And Shrimp said, how he going to deal with the house of Israel, those that know that they're Israelites first, man. So prepare to see some things, man. You know? And, and just cherish being obedient. Focus on being obedient. Tap into being <laughs> more obedient, man. You know? Now. <clears throat> let's get this and we'll end it here. Sirach 18 and 20 It says before judgment Examine thyself And in the day of visitation Alright we just read what That visitation on the double rebellion See there's going to be a visitation So we in the spirit We should pray to stay in the spirit Of constantly examine ourselves Alright and in the day of visitation Thou shalt find mercy We want to find mercy When the judge visit When the Yahweh Bashem Al-Shah visits this place with judgment when he visit this rebellion with judgment. You see, how about Shema Shah is going to meet this rebellion head on with judgment, man. All right? And we should pray not to be a part of it, man. And we, we, we should constantly, you know, tap into obedience, man. You know? So, Lord will you, brothers, and you future who's edified to the next time I say shalom.